All right, disappointing loss. Um, you know, we talked all week about um, controlling controlling the, the game with our tempo and our um, being able to run the football. They ran the ball way better than we did today. Uh, we had some guys get out of get out of their alignments and gaps and things like that. So it was difficult in the run game. Uh, didn't do a good enough job there. Um, you know, they early in the first half offensively, I thought. Uh, we weren't we weren't good enough. We had three turnovers and ended up getting ten points out of those. And then, um, you know, defensively in the second half, uh, you know, we gave up a couple big plays that uh, end up getting scores for them. So, get back to work and keep fighting. Mike, with Sean Mannion testing positive or being moved out of the COVID list this morning, was that a random test or was he showing symptoms? He was sick. Mike, Mike, your defense has traditionally stopped the run. Uh, what, what's, what's the issue? Was it just more about lining up or was it tackling? No, I didn't think it was tackling necessarily. Um, you know, they have a unique scheme where they use the, the receiver, the extra guy that's over there to kind of go, and our guys were jumping out at them instead of playing what they were supposed to play, and so they end up getting some big big ga gashes in there. You feel it was a lost opportunity? I mean, it's not often you pick off. Stafford three times, but you weren't able to take full advantage. Yeah. Is it tougher where it kind of feels like the opposite of complimentary football when the defense, you know, tries to set up the offense, it doesn't really work, and, and I guess vice versa at the end? Yeah, I don't, I don't know if that's necessary. I mean, typically when you, you know, you get touchdowns, you want to score. When you get interceptions and turnovers, you want to score. And um, I don't know if that's complimentary football or not, but it's, it wasn't good enough today. Mike, when your running game early, it looked good. Do you feel like you went away from it, or you just weren't executing that well? Well, I think there were some times when we got, you know, it's second and 12, and I think the one time was second and 15 coming off the goal line or something like that. And, you know, and it, this team, you can't be behind it, behind the, the chains. And uh, I felt like we were a lot today, especially in the first half. What did you see on the fumble where they said forward progress? Um, well, I told them, you know, they let these guys get in these piles and they run forever, you know, and they never blow the whistle. And all of a sudden, we got a one-on-one -on -one thing there, and they're going to say it's blown dead. And they, they did tell me the replay said uh, the ball came out and touched a player that was out of bounds, so I don't know if he was or not. But. And they not review it because of today? There, yeah, it was a non-reviewable play. How serious did Adam Thielen re-injure his ankle, and it's just going to hamper him going forward? Yeah, I don't know. Mike, you had momentum uh, when it was uh, a three-point game, and then the Mike, the offense goes three and out. They get the punt return. Uh, it, this team does not seem to be able to keep momentum. Has that been an issue all year long, or is it just show today? Yeah. I don't. I don't know. I mean, you know, obviously the punt return was a was a big play in the game, and uh, you know, so. Mike Kirk was dealing with that rib injury this week. Did you did you think that affected his throwing at all tonight? He said he was fine. How do you kind of look at the playoff race now? How frustrating is it that? Yeah, just looking at one game. Mm -hmm. The next one. Good.